Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel for another poem of the day. Um, today's poem is one of my very favorites. It's Domestic Work, 1937 by Natasha Trethewey. Um, stick around afterwards for a little bonus analysis if that's something that you need for an essay or something you're interested in. All week she's cleaned someone else's house, stared down her own face in the shine of copper-bottomed pots polished wood, toilets she'd pull the lid to, that look saying, let's make a change, girl. But Sunday mornings are hers, church clothes starched and hanging, a record spinning on the console, the whole house dancing. She raises the shades, washes the rooms in light, buckets of water, octagon soap. Cleanliness is next godliness. Windows and doors flung wide, curtains two-stepping forward and back, neck bones bumping in the pot, a choir of clothes clapping on the line, near my God to thee. She beats time on the rugs, blows dust from the broom like dandelion spores, each one a wish for something better. All right, it's time for some bonus analysis um, and some dogs drinking in the background, apparently. Um, so we have a lady here as a subject of the poem that is um, a domestic worker that is um, cleaning, is a house cleaner. She cleans other people's houses or at least one other person's house um, during the week. And the frame of the poem, obviously, is on Sunday now she is home and she is able to clean her own house. Um, and the phrasing of it is almost like a celebration. And we see that in lots and lots of different ways. Um, one of the ways is the, ter the fact that it turns... Let me get the pen moving. Okay. That turns on, the, on these quotes. And e each of those times... And you can go into that um, yourself, but... Um, notice that the argument and the way the poem is written and the um, that perspective tilts a little bit each time. Um, the first one is she is the one that um, is doing most of the actions. Um, she is the subject of the sentence. She's cleaned the house. She's stared down her own face. Um, she's polished wood. She's pulled the lid to toilets. Um, she's she is the one doing the things, and in the rest of the poem, she's doing things too. But the house that she lives in is coming to life. Like the church clothes are what's starched. Um, the record is spent doing the spinning. The whole house is dancing. Then she raises the shades and washes the rooms. Um, the door windows and doors are what's flung wide even though she's the one doing it the curtains are two stepping the neck bones are bumping a choir of clothes is clapping this one right here that's a celebration right um of, of openness of rising air and rising light um it's the the poem moves um this way like she washes the rooms in light right she each stanza gets lighter and lighter and lighter and it gets lighter in the sense of like sunlight or literal light coming into the room but it also gets lighter as in like lightness of being not heaviness um, it, it does both um, I love the stanza because everything's dancing the curtains are dancing um, the neck bones are dancing and the pot um, the choir is clapping in the background. Um, it's it's, it's a, essentially a church service, right? It's a, it's a celebration of life um, in that in that stanza. Um, and then she be, this is she comes back in here like she is the one. She comes back in participating in the in the in the celebration too. She starts adding a drum beat to it too, beating time on the rugs. Um, which are probably like hung up on the clothesline or whatever outside and getting beaten out. Um, but and then you have the very the lightness at the very end too, um, blowing dust off the end of the broom like dandelion spores, like little puffball things, right? That just kind of float off into the sky. Um, 
there's so much more I could say about this. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, but as you're doing your analysis, look for the changes. I mean, she even says, let's make a change. I mean, she's talking about a change in her life, obviously. But the, the, the poem changes each of these times. Um, literally, just for example, near you have near my God to the between the church service or what it's not really a church service, but the language of this stanza right here is the language of a church service, like a celebration, a dancing, a singing, a, um, being filled with the spirit, I guess, in, in this tradition. Um, and then you have near my God to thee, which is a hymn. Um, and then you have the dust like riding, floating up to the sky um the dust coming from the broom both from sweeping the house and probably using the broom to beat the rugs too um and the dust floats up to the sky up towards god um in in this tradition as well so um, hopefully that's enough details to help you write an essay um, or at least as, as a starting point um, or to at least get a new appreciation for um how incredible natasha trethaway is as a poet so um that's all we got for I will, for tonight, and I will see you next time. Take care, y'all. This video is a production of Thomason Morris Instruction. The creators of this video would love it if you would like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to help us goose the YouTube algorithm. We thank you for your support.